Eric Robert immigrated to the U.S. about 40 years ago, got a degree in economics and an MBA. I ended up in a, in a creative field, designing retail stores for, uh, for VF Corporation and then for our guest jeans out on the West Coast. He says running for mayor of the city of Greensboro was never part of the plan, but says the stars aligned in the form of major loss. I lost both my parents back to back. And, um, you know, when that happens, you kind of start rethinking about your own mortality and your shelf life and um, what you're going to accomplish with the, the time that's left. He says he saw how local government was functioning and instead of complaining on social media, decided to run. As an immigrant, you kind of hold uh, the U.S. to a higher standard, you know, and uh, you certainly don't expect us to be run like a third world country. So I kind of wanted to, uh, to give the government back to the, to the people. In his opinion, everything needs fixing. Part of them coming up with a solution or coming up with, you know, an attempt to resolve an issue is that you have to understand it first. And I think that in a lot of cases, we don't understand what it is that we're trying to solve. Poverty, health care, disparity, race relations and crime. We have um, one of the highest crime rate in the nation for a city our size. It's been increasing. And yet, you know, we've had the same people in government trying to actually convince us that this time around, you know, they have the, the magic bean. He says solving the crime issue takes a village. Involve experts, not just um, benevolent nonprofits that just, you know, need to justify their reason for being. So I think that it is really important to actually change the players, get a different perspective, and try to approach the issue from um, a creative standpoint. And he says he has global perspective. And Greensboro now has multiple audiences, including globally. Global corporations that are looking at us now, you know, to try and, and see if we are the right fit for them. And that doesn't mean that we need just a pretty downtown. We need the whole infrastructure. And that, he says, means the right schools, international schools, culture, and housing. I think we need to reform the entire local government and remind them that, you know, elected officials are there to actually represent us. In Greensboro, Michael Hennessy, Fox 8 News. All right.